I bet you've never seen a poodle wearing headphones before. Not until you've watched me paint this. Then you can say you have, and then you'll never be able to say you never have. Did that make sense? I don't know. Hey guys, what's up? Today, as you may have guessed, by the looks of this screen, we are doing a painting with gouache paint, continuing my Animals in Clothing series. So this painting here prompted quite the video. We're going to be talking about whether or not it's okay to hate your artwork. Is it okay to hate your art? First, let's just get the whole spiel out of the way here. Hate is a strong word. If you would rather say dislike, you are more than welcome. That leaves more room for growth anyway. But to drive the point home, you might hear me say those two words interchangeably. I don't mean anything offensive by them. All right, this painting. I was super into my animals in clothing series until this painting. Why, you might ask? Well, I was so excited about the idea of this one, the whole concept. And then when I finished, I looked at it, I wasn't feeling it. I let it set for a while. Still wasn't feeling it. Some time went by, I kind of sat on it and started thinking about this topic of hating your artwork, not liking your artwork. Is that okay? I'm gonna say yes. That is great. <laughs> Alright, what did you just say, Miranda? That's great. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. All right, I'm gonna go over a couple things with you and tell you why it's okay to not like your art. And I hope that this encourages you. This isn't supposed to be a negative video. We are gonna draw light to not liking what we make. All right. What would cause you to not like your artwork? Hmm. Maybe because it didn't turn out the way we wanted, like this one. All right. Let's dive a little deeper, okay? That's a bit too surfacey. Why is it good to hate your artwork? Why is it good to not like your artwork? It shows that you know that you could have done better. It shows you could have improved. When I looked at this piece when I was done, I didn't really like it as much as some other pieces. So, I knew I could improve in certain areas. Now, what if you like all of your artwork? Is that good too? I would say it's bad if you like every single thing you make. Now, I'm gonna say it is bad if you like every single thing that you make because it can make you blind to areas in which you could be improving. Say you're really struggling with anatomy, but you don't really realize it because you just decide you like everything and you don't really give yourself constructive criticism. It can kind of put you in a rut, and after a while, you might actually, meh, it might catch up with you. You could burn out. But let's talk about hating your artwork and why it is slightly healthy to not like some things that you make. Can this be unhealthy? Absolutely. If you don't like every single thing you make, if you don't like most of the things you make, you might be in an unhealthy spot. Why? Well, if you hate too much of your artwork, this can lead you to feeling overly defeated and, you know, a lot of us feel very passionate about art. And if we are hating most of the things we make, we are like extinguishing this light that is just burning within us to create art. Which, you know, leads to burnout. Then it could lead us to quit, at least for a lengthy period of time. And that's just not healthy. You don't want to let your negative thoughts drive you away from your passion. But there is this healthy balance of not liking certain things you make, which takes me all the way back to what I previously talked about. It shows that you know you are capable of improving. If you don't like something, then you know like, oh, I can do better next time. So let's look at this in a healthy way. You look at something that you made, you don't like it. Figure out why you don't like it. That is your first step to figuring out 
how you can improve. So if you figure out what you don't like, maybe it's proportions. Do you not like the color scheme you used? Oh, maybe you rushed this piece and it's like, <laughs> it bit you in the butt. Oh, oh, wait. Maybe this one didn't turn out to be the style I wanted it to be. You know what, maybe I was experimenting this time and <laughs> yeah, that was a flop. See, any of these things could be relatable for you and why you didn't like your artwork. Figure that out and then once you kind of know why you didn't like it, you can change it. I'll tell you why I didn't like this piece. Okay. I finished this piece and you're gonna see that later. And I noticed that for what I wanted to convey, there were two very opposite things. This conservative looking poodle with like headphones on, listening to some crazy hyped up music, you know, it's very deceiving. But I did not portray that whole concept within the face of the dog. The dog is completely expressionless. And for some people that might be a little humorous because, you know, the looks are being deceiving with like what I want to express, but I feel like the point didn't quite come across because there is no expression there. I think I should have done maybe a little bit happier of a face, maybe more of like a mischievous smirk, something like that, you know? Instead, it's just a poodle looking at you and you might be thinking maybe they're actually wearing earmuffs, I don't know. So that's why I don't really like my piece, so I know where I can improve. Another thing. If you don't like a lot of your artwork, you might actually be in a different place. Like, it might have nothing to do with your anatomy or your color schemes or stuff. Maybe you're just in this weird funk where you're bored of what you're making. Maybe you're creating too much of the same artwork, or maybe you're being too experimental and you're not finding joy in that. So if you're not liking your artwork, look at your patterns. Are you creating a lot of the same thing? Or are you creating a lot of different stuff and you don't feel like you found your place? Ask yourself that. That could help you steer yourself in a direction where you're doing what you want to be doing, but if you don't know what you want to be doing, being experimental is okay. I always encourage being experimental, but too much of it can be exhausting. I have found that out in the past, so just throwing that out there. Another piece of encouragement I want to tell y'all, if you don't like your artwork, that can be a bummer, right? I mean, it's a bummer when you pour hours into making a piece that you're excited about and then boom, you find out you don't like it at the end. Sometimes you gotta sit that piece aside and let some time pass. You might end up liking it. Or the reverse, you might end up liking it right when you finish, set it aside and decide you hate it three weeks later. <laughs> That's always me. Anyway, your art. You pour your emotions into this, you don't like it. That's okay. But that piece of art that you don't like does not define you as a person. It might have some of your emotions poured into it, but it does not define who you are as a person. It does not find it does not define your abilities as an artist. So, I hope that you guys out there who deal with this don't start feeling too bad about yourself and start taking it out on you. Yo, yo. <laughs> don't take it out on you. Like, you know what I mean? Wow, that was a weird stumble. I think it is important to say at the end of this video, it doesn't matter where an artist is during their journey. You can be a beginner. You can be the most advanced person in the world. I don't know if there is the most advanced artist in the world. It's all relative. Anyway, we all struggle. We all make things that we don't like. If you want that encouragement, read the comments of this video. I encourage you to share your stories and then read other people's. We've all been there. That's okay. Anyway, this is the finished piece. Look at my expressionless little poodle. Did not get the point across. That's okay. Anyway, yeah, 
Loving your artwork is much easier said than done, but it doesn't make you a horrible person if you decide you don't like some of your stuff. Just figure out what's healthy. And if any of you are going through this, I just encourage you to never ever give up. You can always make things that you like better down the road. And your journey does not end here. If you feel like you've been hating everything you make, maybe at the end of this video, your journey will start here. Maybe you will feel encouraged to try different artwork based on what you find that you can improve and maybe you'll start liking your stuff. And if you feel really stuck, talk to us in the comments and we will try our best to help you. <laughs> Anyway, love you guys so much. Do some art, have some fun, make it lighthearted and joyful. I will see you soon with another video.